What's up, YouTube family? I've missed you guys so much. Those of you guys that don't know, on TikTok, I actually reached 100,000 followers a few weeks ago, which is just so crazy. Sometimes I forget millions of people watch my videos. It kind of hit me when I went to Miami and Atlanta in February, and dead ass people recognized me, bro. Like, it was crazy. Not mocktail. No, you look so familiar. Are you on TikTok? Yes. I do eating videos. I do eating videos. Oh my God. Oh my God. What stands out with your hair? My hair? And your lashes? Uh-huh. Yeah. I've had people on TikTok ask me if I have a YouTube channel. I'm gonna be more active on here, you guys, so subscribe to me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Anyways, let's get into the video, you guys. Today, I'm doing a mukbang and recipe video and also answering some Q&A questions that people ask me on TikTok. I hope this setup is okay. So the first question, someone asked, which Samyang noodle is your number one favorite? This one, the stew type. I like this one because it's a broth type and I really like to eat soup with my noodles. And I like it too because I feel like it's not too spicy. Since the other ones are stir fried, it kind of enhances the spiciness. But this one, since it's a broth, it kind of dilutes it just a little bit. I'm honestly shocked that they had this at the store because usually these are pretty hard to find. So if they don't have this, then I actually use a two times spicy. So the first thing I'm gonna take is this gochujang. It's Korean hot pepper paste. Honestly, all these ingredients you can find at your local Asian grocery store. However, if you guys don't have an Asian grocery store near you, I'm gonna link my Amazon storefront down below. Not gonna lie though, Amazon low-key taxing for all these ingredients, but if you have no choice or you just really wanna try it, check out my storefront. So I'm gonna mix in two tablespoons of gochujang, two big tablespoons. And I'll also leave the recipe and measurements down below in the description just in case if some of y'all want to follow. This is the spicy sauce from the packet. You're actually supposed to add that green powder towards the end but fuck it. I'm gonna add my rice cakes. Oh, be careful, y'all. I'm gonna add another one. Now I'm gonna add the grandma chicken seasoning powder. Since I used a lot of water for this recipe, the broth kind of got diluted. So it just needs some extra seasoning. And make sure you guys season everything to your taste, to your liking. If you guys don't have the grandma chicken seasoning powder, honestly, any type of chicken seasoning works. You can even use beef seasoning. Honestly, just use what you guys have. Sometimes I do like to use fish sauce instead of chicken powder, but it really depends on my mood. Okay, let's taste this real quick. Mmm. Yeah. It needs a little bit more seasoning powder, though. I used a lot of water, you guys. Honestly, I might have added too much but we gonna make it work. So next question, someone asked, what's your ethnicity? I'm Vietnamese, 100% Vietnamese. Some people asked if I'm mixed, I'm not mixed. I'm 100% Vietnamese, both mom and dad. Someone else asked me, do I speak fluent Viet? And the answer is no, I do not. I do not know how to speak Vietnamese. I just know how to cook Vietnamese food, but I do not know how to speak it. I do understand it though. All right, I'm gonna add enoki mushrooms. They cook pretty fast, I would say about a minute. This is honestly the most important ingredient for me. If I don't have this, I'm not eating rice cakes. Extra cheese. Honestly, I'm gonna just put in the whole bag. Then I'm gonna add green onions. Mmm, look at this. I'm so hungry, you guys. Honestly, I went to the gym. I did legs today too. All I had was a protein shake.
see there's cheese in there. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Oh. Enoki mushroom. If you guys never had these or if you guys don't like mushrooms, trust me, you need to try these. The only thing is you have braces, it'll definitely get stuck in your teeth. All right, next question, someone said, where are you from? I'm from Seattle, born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Honestly, I'm getting sick of it though. I don't plan on living here forever. Like, I feel like Seattle's way too small. Everyone knows everyone here. Someone asked, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sag gang. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. I feel like all the cheese disintegrated, bro. Like, I can't find it anywhere. Look how good this looks. Oh! All right, next question. Someone said, have you got lip injections? Regardless, they look good. No, I don't have any lip injections. Honestly, I thought about it, but then I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm cool with just lining my lips. I got banana milk. This is so good. If you never had this, this should go crazy. Okay, next question. Someone said, what made you want to start making food videos? By the way, I love you so much. I love you too. Growing up, I was really into Food Network. I really liked watching cooking videos. And then I realized I actually like watching people eat because I would watch a lot of Matt Stoney. I really liked his food competition. And then I discovered mukbangs and I was like, wait a minute, there's a whole community for this. So that was maybe like six years ago. And I always thought in my head like, damn, I want to make YouTube videos. I want to film me eating but honestly 
I moved around a lot and I never really had like a stable household or at least one where I felt comfortable enough to start filming. Up until 2020 when I was graduating college, that was honestly the first time that I had my own room in a really long time, I wanna say at least 10 years. I moved around a lot, I lived with different family and friends. Now that I have my own house, I feel more comfortable filming and the rest is history.